everyone. This is Ascended Twin, 144K. This is a reading for my client. So I want to know the energy that is around my client at this present time. What's coming towards them. So I call upon my ancestors of the highest white light, my archangels, my spirit guides, Holy Spirit. As you know, we had a major shift. And when I cut the cards for you, client, here, I had someone that was a false person. There could have been some sudden wealth, male or female. This false person came into some sudden wealth or is about to come into some sudden wealth. And there's a wealthy man involved. So I'm going to cut the cards again because I didn't cut them on the screen. So I'm going to cut them for you. And I want to see. Look at it. There it is. False person. Male or female after a wealthy man or with a wealthy man. What is the energy surrounding my client? There's some level of concern. It could be an older man or an older woman. Somebody here, they could be in the age of 33 or either. Um, there's something that's been going on for eight months, eight years. And there's some level of concern here. There's an older man that's concerned about this. He seems tired. He seems weary of this whole situation. It may have even aged him. There's some type of imbalance here with this false person. Client, you may receive a message of concern that's going to create some kind of mental conflict in you. I saw the wealthy man try to pop back out. Something you could possibly be waiting on. Or either there's someone that is pregnant that's going to shock you. Somebody here was giving somebody that needed money, some money. This person could be 27 years of age. Holy Spirit, what is the energy surrounding my client at this present time? <sighs> message of concern that's going to create imbalance for the main female yeah this is concerning partnerships you could be seeing 222 22 37 and this could be surrounding someone's occupation 34 becomes 7 so this is also about spirituality you could be seeing 777 there's some type of spiritual warfare going on here where you're Karmic, where the karmic partner is blocking the divine feminine. There's a lot of desire here. Somebody here could be military or someone is definitely guarded and defensive. Somebody could be standing their ground. There could be a Bitcoin king here. Somebody finds somebody very elegant as well. Holy Spirit, give me the energy that's surrounding my client at this present time. There you are. The main female. So you're the main female. The main event is what I just heard. Is there anything else from this deck you want to share, Holy Spirit? Yeah, it's your spiritual occupation. There could be someone that feels entitled to your occupation. Third party situation. Yeah, somebody that's possibly pregnant or expecting something. They could be expecting a courtship. But it's going to ultimately lead to despair. Somebody here has a choice between lovers. Expect a phone call or some type of message. Someone here could be in bad health. And look at the official person. There's an official person here. You could be seeing 20, uh, 22 or 222. <sighs> 11-11. There's some 777 is here. There's some type of um, portal. I heard portal. There's some type of money coming in. Or there's some type of money leaving a couple that's married. So let's go ahead and get into your actual reading. Holy Spirit, give me some messages here for my client. Like I said, spiritual warfare is here. First card out. Somebody here. 
happy anniversary. So somebody may have recently celebrated a happy anniversary, someone that could be pregnant or it's a Pisces cancer, a Pisces involved. <clears throat> Social services have been called in a situation or will be. What else is here for my client, Holy Spirit? Give me more energy for my client. What does my client need to do at this present time, Holy Spirit? What does my client need to do at this present time? You could be dealing with someone that has the first, middle, or last name, city, country, or state, or car tags, or this could be yours, D-H-J-N-X-Y. This could be also the person that's celebrating an anniversary. There could be a new anniversary here. Something new is taking place. Yeah, but somebody is also in scattered energies. What's at the back of the deck? Somebody here may have got a whiff of someone's perfume or cologne. What is the energy here for my client, Holy Spirit? Somebody that's suppressing their emotions for you, client. Yeah, somebody that's trying to possibly win at all costs. Someone here is becoming single, and this could be a win for them. Somebody here is um, involved in some type of shadow work or needs to do some type of shadow work. This could be you, client, or this could be your person. I just see in a dark-skinned man here, too. Somebody is spying on you or you're spying on them. Somebody that wants to win at all costs. Somebody that's using fucking black magic and dark spells against you, client. Yeah, somebody here is stuck in their head or they're going to jail for the shadow work. I'm going to pull a card um, on the black magic. I'm going to pull some cards on it, so don't worry about it. <clears throat> yeah, you're dealing with a snake. Ooh. And this could have taken place a year or more ago. For you, client, as well, something bad. If this isn't you, then this is your person. Take it how it resonates. Someone here was definitely, possibly over a year ago, was operating out of pride and ego. Holy Spirit, tell me about the black magic. Let's get to it. Got to be more careful. Tell me about the black magic. For my client. Blood money. Ooh, we. Ugh. Somebody here is definitely trying to get out of a situation. Somebody might have got the shit choked out of them. Yeah, we got blood money. So somebody paid somebody some blood money. And that showed up in your reading the last time. We had a practitioner that got paid. And the magic is backfiring. Hold on, family. Something ain't right with my cards. But I'm going to keep the other one. All right. Tell me about this black magic, Holy Spirit. Hmm. Somebody got some DNA. Somebody here may have been to the beach. They could have some of your DNA, maybe a hair follicle or a hair strand. Something that you may have worn or either something someone else has worn. Holy Spirit, give me some messages. So this practitioner might live close to a beach. Yeah, somebody used black magic possibly to get a baby. What else is here? Ooh, the roots run deep. There's money ties here, but there's a karmic aunt involved or not. Somebody here that has dark hair, this could be the medical, uh, this could, I don't know why I said medical, but this could be the uh, practitioner. They could be dark haired. This uh, aunt in the reverse. So this is nobody that's related to them, um, but if this practitioner is what I'm thinking of, this practitioner's family has been around doing this for generations. 
somebody here that's been in jail. The police are involved, are getting involved. Got somebody that done changed their hair color. So the police won't find them or they're uh, wearing a wig. This could be somewhere local to you by a mall or the city of downtown. And this is involving a rape. Somebody here is ashamed about a rape. And it's an older person. So there may be someone here that was an older person. Yeah, some type of trauma, emotional trauma. Someone may have a, a, um, a hand or a wrist or arm injury here as well. But yeah, there's definitely blood ties and blood money here. Somebody paid a practitioner, definitely paid a practitioner. This practitioner could be going through some shit right now, but I do have a warrant here at the bottom of the deck. So we have a warrant for someone's arrest. Holy Spirit, tell me about this black magic that's being done against my, my client. Whoever this person is, they do uh, good work, but this person here has been through some type of abuse. It was meant to send abuse towards you, client. Someone saw something, spirit saw it. Spirit sees what we can't see and hears what we can't hear. Tell me about this black magic spell for my client. Somebody here was trying to keep you hostage. If this is not physically, this is mentally. Yeah, somebody here has been stealing your energy. Your energy. Somebody here has been searching for something too. Somebody here could have got caught stealing. Yeah, somebody that's suffering from sex addictions. There's an agent that's about to get involved in this situation as well. Yeah, we got somebody here that's connected to a drug dealer. So this person um, is connected and affiliated to people that might be, um, I heard cartel. Something here is very taboo. That's for definite. Tell me about this black magic spell, Holy Spirit. This person has been trying to drive you crazy, client. It's a whole nother deck that's talking. They're trying to create imbalances in your finances. But stand strong. Maintain and control your temper so you can think straight and gain courage and strength. Do your prayers and affirmations. Make sure you're doing your spiritual baths. Tell me about this black magic for my client. What type of black magic was used against my client, Holy Spirit? Somebody's trying to block you from healing, too. I don't know whether or not your ancestors are here. This may be, have been done to you by some friends of yours or the karmics. This is a card is an indication that the person who is facilitating spiritual attacks on you is either a current or former friend. This could also indicate one or more of your friends is facilitating the attack or the attackers are connected to or being recruited by your friend. So you've got some ancestor support because that card flew the fuck out. Tell me what's going to happen that's bad here, Holy Spirit. What's bad? Who's somebody that's got money and the roots run deep about a murder, about his body up in the mountains where there was some type of blunt force trauma. Something here could be stored in a computer about this knowledge.
Tell me about what's bad here for my client. Somebody here didn't see the signs. The signs were cautioning you. This is either you or your client or um, someone that's around you, your person, human trafficking. There it is. So someone here may have been snatched up into human trafficking. Somebody here that may be suffering from health issues that may have been snatched up or either the person that did it has health issues. Someone here that may have money or comes from money. Somebody might have grabbed the wrong person. Yeah. Something is here um, in a computer, stored in a computer. Somebody's information or either an IPS address is being tracked. I heard encryption, so something is encrypted here. Somebody here is also has some buried weapons, too. What's under signs? Doctor. Somebody could be visiting a doctor as well, too. Tell me about what's bad here, Holy Spirit. Sex industry. Prostitution. Sex trafficking. Human trafficking. Yeah. Somebody here, this is possibly a part of their awakening. Tell me about what's bad here, Holy Spirit, for my client. Yeah, somebody saw this. Somebody took a risk and did it anyway. Somebody was trying to plan it, but maybe the uh, plans backfired or went awry and somebody just took the risk and still snatched this person up or will snatch this person up. But the most high is involved. Yeah, somebody's DNA. There could have been a fight. I heard cat fight. But there could be some type of fight here. Maybe someone scratched someone and their DNA is up underneath their nails. And somebody here is about to receive some karma for gang stalking. Yeah, creating a victim. The goddess council is here trying to protect someone from being a hostage. There's definitely an agent that's going to get involved in this for you, client. Hang on for a second, hon. I am burning some frankincense for you. And this is for powerful protection and blessings. And I will continue to burn, burn it throughout your reading to request spiritual protection for you. Holy Spirit, give me some more energy for what's going on and what my client needs to do. Somebody here feels drained too. Ritualistic blood sacrifice. I can't make this stuff up. Somebody did this on their anniversary. Damn. Blood magic. I can't walk away just yet is what your person is telling me. Yeah. They can't walk away just yet from a karmic partner whose first, middle, or last name, city, country, state, or car tags, D, H, J, N, X, Y is a karmic partner or there are karmic partners involved in your circumstances. Yeah, and it's a whole hot fucking mess. See it? Hot mess. What else is here for my client, Holy Spirit? Somebody here is having a meltdown because somebody here is winning or somebody is going to be winning. They might be winning their freedom to get away from a situation. Somebody here is going to have a whole meltdown and want to vandalize somebody's property. Somebody here is throwing a hell of a lot of shade. This person is in a rage. Yeah. I got somebody here that's salty as fuck because somebody is becoming single. 
somebody here that's codependent needs to do some fucking shadow work. Yeah, somebody here is spying. They could be a fallen angel. They could now be karmic as well. Somebody here that's a light-skinned man. So this man may not be black. Oh, this is falling on the black magic. Oh, interesting. Somebody here that's mentally pressed about a situation. About something that went bad. Because they operated out of pride and ego. Tell me about this meltdown, this vandalism and rage. The goddess council is not involved. No, somebody here, this is not a part of their soul contract. This person is awakening though. Tell me about this meltdown and the vandalism. Tell me about it, Holy Spirit. Somebody that's mentally in prison. They know they can't escape. They're trying to escape a situation, but they can't. I can't leave just yet is what I'm hearing. Yeah, there's some loose ends that are being connected. The cops are connecting the dots to all of the people that are involved. There could be a lot of people. This could be a wide network that's going down here. Somebody here has information about this vandalism, this meltdown, this uh, rage that this person had. Somebody here that's on video. Somebody here has been watching something on video. Somebody here also is following somebody's foot, dogging someone's footsteps, gang stalking. Somebody here, yeah, friends. Didn't I say earlier, friends? What else, Holy Spirit? Yeah, this person could be dark hair color or you could be. Yeah. Money. Somebody might be pressed for money. Somebody here may got the shit choked out of them. I told you, somebody here got the shit choked out of them. Might be choked bad enough to where they ended up like this. Yeah. And this could have all taken place in a house. This could also be pertaining to that human trafficking as well. Somebody was operating out of their pride, their ego, and their arrogance. Somebody didn't want somebody to talk. Yeah. Woo wee. Intense. Somebody is throwing a lot of shade here in this situation. What else is going on here in my client's energy, Holy Spirit, that my client needs to know to help themselves get away from this situation? What was that? Yeah, there's a mother here. I heard karmic. Somebody here that didn't learn their lessons. Ten of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Somebody is being betrayed. Somebody may have lost some weight here as well. Somebody here, there's either somebody here that's sending you the evil eye. They have dark eyes. Somebody that may have gotten caught with a DWI or DUI. They got caught under the influence of some type of drug, some type of um, can't be alcohol, but it could be. But um, somebody definitely was under some type of influence of drug. Yeah. Somebody here that may have gray hair, gray eyes. Last name could be gray. Or loves to wear the color gray. Could drive a car. Um, I heard, um, oh gosh, what is that type of car? Jaguar. Somebody may own a, a gray Jaguar, a Jaguar. Um, somebody is codependent. See, 
didn't mean to betray you. Seven of Swords, somebody that's codependent. So this could be happening to your divine counterpart or what used to be your divine counterpart. Somebody here could be watching a show about fallen angels on TV. It could be a light-skinned man that betrayed you or either got betrayed for not learning their lessons. Somebody here did not learn a lesson. So the lesson continues regardless of whether or not there is um, an old person or a new person. If you have a specific lesson to learn and you have not learned it, guess what? No matter what person that shows up, you're still learn you're still in the lesson. So somebody definitely did not learn their lesson. There could be a biracial relationship. I did see a dark-skinned man. Now I got a light-skinned man out here too. So somebody could be involved in a light-skinned or a biracial relationship here, client. Somebody that's so freaking angry with you or you're freaking angry with them. Or this could be the karmic. What else is the energy here for my client, Holy Spirit? Nothing else coming out of this next spirit. Last run. Something could have taken place eight plus years ago. Or either that's that anniversary. Somebody here that might be 30 minutes or less from you or you them. I'm going to sit this deck to the side because nothing else is coming out of it. Let me see if I can get any names to come up out of here. But Spirit is saying, you deserve better. I'm not ready. So your divine counterpart is sending you a direct message from their soul. You deserve better. I'm not ready. Holy Spirit, give me any names that could be involved in this situation for my client that she may he or she may recognize. <sighs> I see a Tina Petrova here. I see a Brian that and it fell on they could be pressed. No, they're still toxic as fuck. And it could be a week or less. Something is going to take place for this person. They may end up in jail. There could be a Giselle here as well. <clears throat> what else? Spirit is saying they're an ex for a reason. There could be a Hugo involved, but... They may not be directly connected to you. They may be directly connected to someone else. Rose is here too. Your purse is, is saying, please forgive me. Someone here is saying, please forgive me for all the things that I've done. I saw Shayna and Sean. <clears throat> I see Vera. I have a Dana that popped out. I'm still not ready. I want my freedom. And these could be some of the toxic ass friends that are around you. I have a Damien here. I have a Mark here. There may be a Tracy involved. What is this hiding, poking out? You both are still healing and that's okay. You got this is what Spirit is saying. What else is here, Holy Spirit? I see a Tory here too. A newt came out. So there's someone here that's foreign. That could be the dark-skinned man. Maybe not so much. Yeah, Spirit is definitely saying you deserve better um, because they're not ready and to proceed with caution.
So there's some truth that's coming out. This video is almost complete. So there's some truth that's coming out about some fucking blackmail. I can't make it up for a status quo relationship with a fucking control freak. Somebody is getting an eviction notice. Somebody here, you need to pay attention. Security alarm has been detected, so it's went off. Somebody here may have a private security system that does not come off, but it is somebody that has money. It possibly could be one of those silent alarms. If this is not a home, then this is a business, and there is evidence. Somebody here has multiple keys. Somebody got caught up in a situationship. Damn. Secret sterilization. So, ooh, somebody may have lied. There's a false mask here. Somebody is wearing a false self mask. Somebody could be calling you from unknown numbers. Yeah, we got the mountains here. So this could be mountain time or um, opposite of eastern central time, whatever time zone you're in. What is going on here for my client? There's a pissed off woman here. Same sex love is here as well. Yeah, could be an Aquarius or someone here that it's about to become famous or meant to be famous. <sighs> They're a fucking wolf in sheep's clothing. 